Hello and welcome to another episode of the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Here we are in Stellenbosch. Guys, what a beautiful town at Die Salza Golf Estate and what an estate this is. It really does have everything you need. Feels super lonely, super exclusive. And we're gonna show you what a home in this estate looks like. So right here, I am in the entrance hall. Just to my left is your first guest bathroom. Now this home is four bedrooms, four bathrooms with two guest toilets, and that is the guest toilet right there. We'll take you through that in just a moment, but let's carry on walking forward and see what else we've got, because right over here, you find yourself in your formal dining room area. Stunning chandelier coming down. The cream of that matches the accents on your balustrades as well as the rest of the lighting in this house. And just behind me, you've got your bar area. Beautiful, beautiful wood on the bar area, all built in. There is a separate, just to the right of the bar area, wine cellar, two glass doors open into your very own wine cellar. And what is wine without a place to taste it. So if you walk down behind the bar, you will find a small nook for you and your friends, your family to sit down on, go through a couple of bottles of wine and see which one you enjoy the most. And in the middle of that wine tasting area, you've got a nice window there letting through some light. Now moving past your dining room area, you'll see stackable sliding doors open all the way to the left, letting you out onto your patio. Love those stackable sliding doors because it always makes a home feel so open and it really does capitalize on the space you can have without doors hinging open. But here we are within the kitchen. We've got a DeFi gas stove top with not four but six burners and then underneath here we've got plenty of undercounter storage just above me a continuation of that stunning wood creating your breakfast nook and I really like how it's raised up a little bit it's super cool now let's talk about countertops right over here and continuing there by the gas stove you've got almost a cheetah patterned quartz countertop looks like it's been custom designed really nice we've got your chef sink here with water filtration leading into it so we like that and then here is this massive window looking out onto the Stellenbosch Mountains. Guys, can you imagine waking up in the morning, grabbing your coffee, sitting here and taking a look at that view. Cape Town, you are spoiled with incredible views. Now on my right hand side, you've got space for your microwave as well as a double DeFi oven. Behind me is a room that you can use for whatever you like. You've got two frosted glass doors that open out into it. Right now it's been customized as a kiddies play area. Get the kids out the kitchen when you're whipping up some food, but let your imagination run wild because those doors as well are pure glass, so it's giving you the best view. For anybody looking for an office, that might not be a bad place. Then, before we move into the scullery, which is located on my left-hand side, let me just mention we've got clear glass display cabinets over there and frosted glass display cabinets over here, so you can go absolutely crazy with anything you wanna put out and show off a little bit. But let's talk about the scullery. Now, your scullery in this home is absolutely massive. You've got your double sink, stainless steel as well as plenty of under counter storage as well as above counter storage you've got another inbuilt wine rack within the scullery and then massive floor to ceiling cupboards for all of your dry goods as well as space for your under counter appliances this is also where you'll find access to your two car garage with a special access point for your little golf cart so if you want to cruise that baby inside your garage you've got a door just for that and now let's wrap around the house. So as we come through here, you'll see these hinge doors open all the way, giving you plenty of space. Now this patio being so large, you can see this eight seater table fits in just perfectly. But here we are, center of the patio. Right over here, what I wanna talk about is you've got your wood fireplace as well as a gas fireplace over here. So two separate ones, but you can decide at any point in time what you'd like to use. And then if we go over here, this is where you'll find your pool and Guys behind me, take a look at that view. Stunning, there's really not much I can say for it other than let it speak for itself. The rest of the golf estate, 
just cruises down these hills. And another really cool thing about this house is you have got no neighbors on the right hand side. So the common area there is yours to use as you see fit. And here we are within the opposite wing of the house. Those two hinge doors that open wide across again are repeated on this side of the house. Here is your TV room. We've got a window on the right hand side and these frosted glass doors on the left hand side allowing you to section this room off from the rest of the home. And this window here, as I look at it, is almost an art piece by itself with the views of the rest of the golf course, or the rest of the golf estate, should I say, and then those mountains in the background. This room also has central air conditioning, down lighting, and then this major light right here. Now, let's take a look outside this room and see what it's got to offer. Because yeah, you'll find your formal sitting room area. But I do want to draw attention to just how much space is here. Incredibly large chandelier hanging above me. You can do with this space whatever you please, guys. The sky is the limit with homes like this. Stunning, stunning flooring. And then that wood fireplace there with that sandstone backing really is so beautiful. Such nice texture and a real regal fireplace which is so nice in homes like this it does make you feel like you're staying at the white house when you take a look at this home now downstairs as well is your first guest bedroom so we're going to take a look at that guest bedroom we're going to also go through the bathroom as well as the toilet the guest toilet and then we're going to go up this staircase and take a look at what the upstairs looks like now here we are within the first guest bedroom. These two doors open out with the frosted glass, allowing some privacy if you close them, but also making this room just feel that much more special. Plenty of space in this room. This bed, and it's a big bed, really does fit in here with no problem whatsoever. The other nice thing about this, this bedroom is that it's got its own ensuite bathroom, as well as access to the guest bathroom, or should I say the guest toilet, through this door. So let's take a look at the ensuite bathroom, and then let's head upstairs. Now, your bathroom has your very own single vanity, beautiful marble on it, plenty of undercounter storage, as well as quite a nice sized mirror above it. Then, frameless glass separates your shower, a walk in shower, from the rest of the bathroom. Then, you'll also have your floating toilet with hidden system. Now, the first thing you'll notice about this set of staircases is how you've turned a staircase into a work of art. Really, the feature wall that's built into the staircase looks stunning. And then on the left-hand side or the other side of the staircase, you'll see glass separates it. Instead of them using a railing, they've decided to use some glass. But standing up here on the top level, the sense of scale of this house becomes so apparent. And also how nicely lit it is. You do feel rather special standing up here and surveying your home. Now the use of space upstairs really becomes apparent when you realize that this hallway is also your office space. So right here we've got built-in cupboards as well as desks. So this is exactly where you'll be doing all your work if you do need some office space. Then behind me you find one bedroom including in front of me and then the creme de la creme, the master suite, is just down that way. So let's start over here, let's shoot across, take a look at the balcony, and then let's see what living in De Zalza Golf Estate in the master suite feels like. Here we are within the first bedroom upstairs, carpeted bedroom, beautifully done, chandelier above us, as well as that central air conditioning, two massive windows looking out onto the golf estate. And with a golf estate as beautiful as this, like I mentioned, those windows become art pieces. We've got plenty of built-in cupboards on this side, and then your own ensuite bathroom right over here that we're gonna check out right now. Your ensuite bathroom has your own bathtub, heated shower rack, single vanity, mirror above it, under counter storage below it, and then toilet tucked neatly away on the left hand side. And here we are within the second bedroom again, carpeted, really nice chandelier and some flags here. Like, uh, I think if you ask nicely, these will come with the home. But beautifully done bedroom, so much light, it's so bright in here, which is really nice in a bedroom, built-in cupboards. Over there, we had those dark wood cupboards, which are very, very nice for boys' room right here. Painted white cupboards, farmhouse style, also very nice. Ensuite bathroom over there.
then just out those glass doors, you have access to your patio that runs all the way across to the master suite. And we're gonna take that route to the master suite. And as I mentioned, coming out of these glass doors, you find yourself on your patio, wood fireplace right there. Guys, if you wanna whip up some meals up here, it's catered for, it's handled, you can do it. Because up here, raised up one story, you have uninterrupted views of the whole Gulf estate. And really, you're tall enough to see Stellenbosch. Beautiful out here. I think I could spend all my time out here, even though it is this sunny and a sunny day in Cape Town is very welcome. We have had some unlucky and very rainy days, so it is beautiful to be out in the sun. But let's go this way into the pajama lounge because really, what a state, what country estate, what golf estate doesn't have your very own pajama lounge? And here it is, as I mentioned, the air conditioning, the ducting is all there, down lighting, the stunning view. A guest toilet right over there. Upstairs guest toilet is a must, but this is your pajama lounge. Really, you can customize it however you'd like it done. And then this pajama lounge leads directly into your master suite. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, the master suite, the creme de la creme, exactly where you wanna be, where you wanna live, where you wanna spend all your time, chandelier there, two of your very own personalized lights on the left and right hand side of the bed. And I mean, massive bed here that fits in very, very easily. Now, access to the patio, as I'd mentioned, as well as one of those picture frame windows, because really it is framing that mountain right in front of me. I could spend a lot of time looking at that. But enough about where you sleep. Let's talk about where you get dressed, because the walk-in closet here is to die for. Come on. And here we are within your walk-in closet. I love how they've done this. Plenty of cupboard space, and then we've got some lattice work on some of the cupboards. It really does tie in that country vibe. We're on a golf estate, we're out in the farmlands, in the vineyards, and that brings it all together like most of the decor in the home, the chandeliers and the lighting especially. I also love how this roof is slanted with the lighting pushing forward onto where you'll be getting changed, onto where you'll be getting dressed. Clever design elements and right over here, the master bathroom, here we are. We've got a jacuzzi bathtub on my right hand side, raised up, really cool. Feels so awesome to be able to stand up and dip into your bathtub. Heated towel rack over here, and then your double vanities, these marble countertops, massive mirror, plenty of storage. Walk-in shower with a Pretty cool looking shower head. And then on my right hand side is a door that might lead to Never Never Land because I actually don't know where it goes. Bidet. I mean, if we're living in luxury, who doesn't want a bidet? Let's take a look at what else is here. This is also where your toilet is located. So it's sectioned off from the rest of the bathroom, keeping the bathroom looking super clean, super neat and as nice as the rest of this home. So follow me, let's go back out onto the patio, let's get that beautiful view in frame, and let's talk about the pricing of this home. And there you have it, folks, this incredible four-bedroom home in De Zalza Golf Estate showcased to its fullest and its finest. This home is going for 14,900,000 rand, and it is a steal take a look at these views. So if these views are for you and you can plan and see yourself living here for the rest of your life, which really, who could blame you? What I need you to do is contact RealNet Properties, contact the agent in charge, Liesl Berger, and schedule a viewing whenever it suits you. So, from myself, Chad Riveros, from the team at Private Property, from the team at The Home Shopper Show, we love you, thank you, and goodbye.